Now I'm recording. <laughs> I could not I could not possibly say that all again. No way. Yeah, 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 yeah. And that was I would say that was the best intro I've ever done. So, yeah. Thank you. Yeah, the, everything. And I couldn't figure out, you kept looking at the speaker, and I'm like, yeah, there's a speaker. Yeah. See, you can't hold on to it, you know? <laughs> it, and it's, and fun, it's, it is exactly like that, though. It can't be... When you feel like an individual, you feel like there's something that you can know and you can hold on to and integrate into your life, like an experience. This is how we, we kind of feel we live our lives. We have these amazing experiences and then we want to repeat the experience and then we want to repeat it again. And then there's this whole we have this whole idea that we can kind of integrate it into who, are, who we are um, uh, or we can know and we can that knowledge can be permanent and you know we can we can hold on to experiences and things and there's actually kind of a pain in that it's kind of painful as we as we feel it kind of slip through our our fingers you know and what that pain is the invitation to see that there's nothing to hold on to everything is actually the invitation to see that there's no you and that this is actually nothing appearing to happen because what you're looking for is not knowable it's not graspable cannot have it ever and yet it's actually uh, inescapable cannot be because it's all that is already there you go <laughs> should have just said record <laughs> that's so funny and you look at it well, Yeah, it's all Alvin's fault. <laughs> anyway, we're going to use this. So. <laughs> um, this I'll just pass this out. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, can, can you just uh, elaborate uh, uh, upon, um, on the on this uh, knowing part? Yeah, you know, uh, like. How does it, I mean, not how, but uh, it's uh, it's very interesting, or, or I mean, amazing that there's a knowing. Yeah. yeah. Where, uh, whereas uh, you suggest that everything is unknowing. Yeah. And the knowing part is somehow separation and then search for wholeness, whatever. Yeah. Like when I felt separate, I felt that I knew, uh, uh, you know, my life. Like actually knowing about yourself and knowing about the world is it's actually the same. It's just you're living in your reality. And it really feels absolutely real when you feel separate, that things are knowable. And what that is, if to put it really simply, it's just an abstraction because there's life and aliveness and there's me with my aliveness. So in that sense of separation, I can abstract then from the whole uh, knowing I can abstract that knowing and that requires time and space and it requires a sense of me and what's appearing to happen so in that like a, a seeming gap I can also have experiences knowing and experience is the same thing so and the, the world is also concrete too it's real that it is on but it, you won't hear it it's just um uh, just checking yeah the world is real so it's knowable you know because it's really happening that's what i was saying yeah. Yeah, yeah the knowability of it make it this is what yeah. makes it seem real yeah it's like a it's a subject object yeah. reality because i feel real uh, uh, real i'm a me a subject subject object is really simple actually people think it's complicated because it can kind of sound a little bit complicated but a noumena phenomena all of those things very very simple the subject is the center is the individual so I'm the center of everything and everything then is an object to me. An object requires, it has to be a subject for it to see an object. So that's a lived reality then. When I feel like an individual, I have a really lived sense of speaking to somebody, an individual, 
because I'm an individual and you're an individual and then I'm relating to you and I can know that then and I can know you actually and that we feel we know each other to, to a lesser or greater degree you know and that knowing then really is just a story you know oh I know th I know her she's this I know him he's that and um, when you're what you're what all the words then what you're talking about is simply story because what you're referring to when you say you know them is your memory of having some sort of experience with them or your your idea of having read or seen them and then fitting them into some category then along a scale of kind of good bad uh intelligent stupid you know uh progressive uh regressive you know so wherever and then you you're but they're an object then so actually you don't see anybody nobody actually sees anybody as they are but similarly it's the same with everything else if you see a tree because there's you and the tree there's it's it's almost imprisoned in this reality of you and the tree and there isn't a you and the tree mm -hmm. are you and the person there's actually just aliveness trees and aliveness persons and alive it's all this is you know when we talk about oneness and wholeness and everything in the spiritual kind of area they talk about it as some kind of abstract it's just very simple and direct there's just this is wholeness so so um subjectivity time space uh otherness whatever requires uh knowing it's an, an aspect an of aspect feeling of separate, knowing. Uh, separate yeah and knowing and uh, yeah and when you feel separate you feel you can know uh, awareness is here and then everything else is there and then yeah just... awareness is just an a, well, a, knowing is a, a feature of knowing awareness is a feature of knowing yeah. though when you it's an aspect of consciousness is a, an aspect of you knowing what yeah. you're separate to Location. again it's nothing special there's no. nothing remarkable about it but then we feel that it, there is something special about awareness and it's the key to something. Yeah. But actually, like you put it this way, everything is just so immediate. Yeah, you cannot put it in the it's box. It's actually there and not there. It's not ha happening in the way that we think it's happening because everything is nothing and nothing is everything. It's always just new. Everything is completely new and that's unknowable. Once I have to be separate to know that then. Yeah. And then what I'm in then as I'm in a story, then mm. it's just a story. And that's what's being suggested. You are actually a story. So this is about the, the newness of everything. Everything is actually new, but the, and that's that newness is what's yearned for when you feel separate. Because there's a sense of dissatisfaction with that reality of me looking at the tree and me looking at you and me knowing you and me knowing that I'm looking at the tree and everything there's a there's a, it's dissatisfying and there's something about it that is sense that there's something about this that's not quite but I can't put my finger on it and then of course people look in all these different places and of course they look in spiritual teachings and practices and sometimes experientially find huge release in those things and maybe enjoy them very much or enjoy the friendships they make and everything. And this is totally <laughs> just what's happening. Uh, there's nothing actually right or wrong with any anything like that. But it can be seen that this is this is the suggestion that it can be seen that there's nothing that is that you can do to get what you're looking for. Actually, you may feel you do something and you may feel you found what you're looking for, but it's always going to be temporal. It's always going to be like an experience or a state that's there for an hour or a day or three days or a week. And next thing you're back looking for it again. And I had it, I tasted it. And it's, it's because simply there's no you there. So when it's seen there's no you there, it's very obvious. There's nothing to be done because there's no you who could do something or not do something. So that's the that's the knowing yeah then it's 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 the like it's the immediacy this is about the full on aliveness of simply just the complete utter free fall of just what's appearing to happen without a separate you there because with knowing comes the knower yeah, yeah. and this is the then the it goes or you know the fantasy it, land is it's just a concept in knowing then you have a concept or an yeah. idea 
Okay. And the suggestion being made is actually you are also a, an idea or a story. So it's all stories within stories within it's just that's all it is really. <laughs> like to make <laughs> I'm sorry I can't help myself mm -hmm. um, I've got a microphone <laughs> in my hand <laughs> taking requests um, you can sing if you want to but we might we might if you want to sing we'll keep it for the break you know? <clears throat> um, hello Kim Hi. Um, my question is about um, the attitude to the self yeah. And uh, uh, I suppose it's exactly the same uh, with the attitude you have to yourself and dealing with that monkey brain yeah. uh, telling you what to do all the time, yeah. how to act, what you should do, what you could do. Yeah. Uh, you want to put manners on the monkey, do you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Make them dance. Yeah, dance. yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, the, the separation with that in your head, uh, how to deal with the story in your head along yeah. with all the emotions and everything that you have sort of like tangled yourself up in yeah, yeah. a story of your existence and yeah kind of so get the gist it's of what very I'm simply and directly that there is no separate you this is very simple communication that everything else falls apart then when this is actually mm -hmm. sense when that sense of being separate just mm -hmm. isn't no longer there it's seen that there was never actually a separate me who could then deal with the monkey in the right way are needed to deal with the monkey in the right way. You know, it's, it's really that sense that there is a, if I was to answer your question and start to give you advice, you know, to put manners on the monkey, that would actually be, this would immediately be a different communication then, totally different communication. And that would be the most common communication. The, the more popular common communication is that I would, uh, empathize with you and i would say well Please there don't. are some techniques <laughs> yeah they, i would say i also have a naughty monkey don't worry you know <laughs> but um there would be techniques and there would be something offered to uh how to silence the mind like i mean the world is just full of this stuff how to quiet the mind how to silence the mind meditation uh cold therapy showers uh fasting uh whatever uh, exercise i mean it's just not it just goes on and on and on but what, what, what this is a very direct communication suggesting, that's all, that actually that whole sense of there being a monkey there and, and someone, a voice, an inner voice, and nothing needs to be done about the, the content of that, nothing at all. Like nothing needs to be done about how loud the monkey is, how naughty he is, how well behaved or whatever, because it's just seen that actually it's all a story. And when it's all a story, it all just collapses then. But if I was to speak to you about how to do something about that, I would then see that there is there is actually a separate person there who can somehow do something about that. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. And then I'm feeding the, I'm just complicit then actually. This is just, it's energetically, this communication is totally different then. So the same goes for like my emotions. They're part of the monkey. So well, just it's they very just simply, are. Yeah, they're not your emotions. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> they come from the story. They stay yeah, with the story. They, they, they're just like it's the scene that because it really absolutely I, I hear what you're saying. There, what, there is a common um, knowledge or common uh, wisdom would tell you that they are your emotions because what it's all coming from is that you are an individual. So you you have emotions. You have thoughts. You have a life. This is suggesting that actually you're not even there. That there are emotions appear. They're not your emotions. You're not there. And that's what it's an emotion is just another thing that appears to happen. It's like one of the senses. Just as you're seen, you're not actually seen. But there's what's being seen is coming through. There's no you that sees. And the sound now. There's no you that's hearing these words. There's just the sound. There's just the immediacy of what's appearing to happen. But it appears, and I really stress the word appear, it appears in the story that there's this sense, a really felt sense. It's not an idea. It's a really felt sense that I'm hearing. So if you feel like an individual in this room, you will actually feel that you're sitting on the chair. 
and you will feel that could be very subtle it's a little bit but obviously it is subtle but you will feel that you're hearing these words right now you will feel that you're looking at me you will feel you know so on so on so on this it's a really felt energetic sense of being separate and this illumination is from nothing it's just a suggestion and energetically that really felt sense of being separate may it may i have no idea it could actually strengthen maybe because there's no there's no agenda here for because i can't see an individual but it may be very obvious that actually i don't have emotion there's just emotion there's no me who feels emotion there's no me who this voice is speaking to you know but it feels that way it does feel that way. it does feel that there's a you're, we're like kind of like in this dialogue like we're nearly the monkey on the shoulder we feel like we're here like we're in this kind of it's the most intimate dialogue with ourselves we feel like it's like almost our best friend you know what i mean now sometimes our worst enemy they can flip over but generally it's someone you're in constant dialogue with and it feels like it does feel like there's somebody there and there isn't and there never has been by the way I like the idea of obliteration. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's just, this is a very direct communication. It does not involve any knowing. It doesn't involve any processes. There's absolutely nowhere to get to. How could there be somewhere to get to when this is boundless, unconditional love? What's appearing is boundless, unconditional love. So any communication that tells you how to find an boundless, unconditional love is total and utter bullshit because it's speaking to you and it's reinforcing that boundless, unconditional love is around that corner there. Or formulated. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. And that, that makes, that appeals to the individual though. That is, that feels so, because that's the reality the individual is in, is that there is a corner and that this doesn't feel like it is it. So there must be something else. So this person is telling me if I meditate every day for six hours, then I'll be, I'll quieten the mind. I'll maybe rid myself of the separate self and then I'll be there. That makes total sense to the individual or it doesn't maybe, I, you know what I mean? It, one thing will appear, appeal to one and it won't appeal to another. But that's, this is, it's the individual is logical, linear, moving towards something that's the whole energy in hopeful anticipation actually it's always kind of hopeful and and what's yearned for incredibly is simply already what's appearing to happen <laughs> it's not there is no linear actually presence well i wouldn't even use presence because the reason i wouldn't use presence is present implies a it implies a, a then a destination yeah and it implies like there are loads of um communications and teachings about being in the present being in the now and all of those things and uh, you know they imply then that there's a present to be in and there's a you that uh, could be in the present there is no present there is no present because there's no time there's only the appearance of time <laughs> ding <laughs> <laughs> notebook we got one oh, we Do have a question you... online yeah do you have another question? Actually, I do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, just hold the mic up. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, relating to addiction. Yeah. Um, being addicted to the next hit, you know, yeah. the next uh, consciousness freak out or yeah, consciousness yeah. realization. Uh, I fall into that category. Well, the no me, the no yeah. me. Well, the monkey me, yeah, uh, yeah. whatever. I don't know exact terminology because it's all brand new. Oh, no, um, listen, you cannot go wrong here today as well. Uh, okay. Just to be really clear about that, you cannot misspeak or say the wrong thing. You can't mm -hmm. ask the wrong question. You can't ask a silly question and you can't use the wrong term. So really just don't worry about it. You know? So instead of looking at something as, a, as an addiction, um, curiosity, for example, I'm, I always had a curious mind the curiosity this uh the state of curiosity uh is very addictive for me i mm. always want to know new things no mm. i suppose is the mm. the problem like um, well there's uh, not a problem actually really okay. it's just that there can be a character who's curious yeah character. and likes to explore and everything that doesn't mean anything it's just it uh, again there's nothing wrong with any there's nothing wrong with feeling separate by the way there's nothing wrong with feeling like an individual. 
it's also unconditional love it's just an appearance that's all so mm. what i would say it's that is there's a, everyone has a different flavor to them and mm. if there's a curious character there's a curious character and maybe then that that feels separate then feels that there's something to get then and that's the that's the difference then is that okay there's the curiosity but there's something in that that will satisfy me or whatever and then the, the game mm. just appears to go along like that and that's fine you know it doesn't matter it's, it could um, appear to be an addiction or maybe or maybe not it doesn't really matter either like all, all the sense of being a self is like of course the sense the, the self comforts itself for the loss of everything you know and, and also tries to lose itself in that you know this this whole sense of that and then it can become compulsive in its behaviors or whatever and it's all mm -hmm. a kind of comforting for the self again it's not right right or the right or wrong aspect of that only comes from the sense of the separate self who is dualism who is the dualism of it's wrong to behave like that or it's good mm -hmm. to behave like this and really when you feel separate there's this whole sense of should and shouldn't like i sh this is i should do more of this and i should do less of this and i and should I buy a ferrari yeah 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 <laughs> I should buy, should buy me a Ferrari. I think. The sorry, yes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know. So uh, yeah, but well, I mean, for some that is their story. Like when I have my Ferrari, then I'll be there, and then for some it will be when I have when I have uh, enlightenment, then I'll be there. And it's actually the same thing. Funny exactly. enough, it's incredible. But the person who's chasing enlightenment would actually feel that they're much more noble than the person who's you know the Ferrari. The, yeah, the Ferrari is a bit kind of you know materialistic yeah they're 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 just they don't get it so. <laughs> yeah but um yeah, cake or so, death cake, huh? cake or death cake, cake fleas <laughs> cake fleas yeah sorry very bad An english term of eddie is it um, uh, choosing cake or death you know okay. when, uh, so have Our the cake, cake please oh cake please <laughs> yeah 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 cake please cake or death yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. well, what is the cake like are we talking black first ghetto here or are we talking no, i want to know what i'm dealing with first <laughs> yeah but actually this morning is all about death actually really and to the individual that sounds really stark and harsh and uh um like death for the individual is this some big big blobby kind of black thing because <laughs> it imagines an absence of itself you know it's, it's an idea of death and this is um, a very simple suggestion that there's not two it's very simple there's not two there's not life and death it's an illusion it's very simple there's not you who's alive and and then will lose your life because there's not two, there's, there's, it's only wholeness. So nothing appears as something and something is nothing and nothing is something. So they're not two separate things, but we, when we feel we have a life, we feel there's an actual thing called death. And we feel that we were born, we live our ridiculous little lives and then we die. And it's just a story. It's just a story. So you could, that could all fall away as you appear to live or it can fall away uh, at the at the when the body stops functioning mm -hmm. yes i agree with you <laughs> yeah. and there's nothing to agree but i yeah it doesn't I'm matter very, it's gorgeous nice because this is the one communication that everyone here could just disagree with me and get really pissed off and say well fuck you kenneth really we've all talked and uh we just think it's nonsense and we're going to the christmas market for mulled wine and i would say well <laughs> Sounds good to me. Would you mind if I tag along now that you kind of hate me? And you go, oh, okay, you can come, but don't speak. And that would be unconditional love, actually. That would be, I'm not joking now, that would be actually be unconditional love. There is nothing that isn't unconditional love. There's nothing asked of anybody. I've been in meetings where almost every person has been angry at me and it's been unconditional love because that's what's appeared to happen. There's no agenda here for anyone to agree with anything I'm saying at all. It makes no difference to me. If someone agrees with me and said, oh, yes, great. And then someone says, oh, I'm confused. Same thing. It doesn't matter. It really doesn't matter. There's nothing to get. There already is no individual in this room. 
And if there is a sense of an individual, it's just simply what's appearing to be happening. It doesn't mean anything, and it's it will play out like it plays out. Evaporation comes to mind. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's, yeah. It's it's but it's very simple though. It's 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 shockingly ordinary actually. What's I mean? This is very you and everyone already knows this because they already are it. But it's not noble in the way that we think we know things. It's just very ordinary, very simple. It, that's the problem, actually. It's too simple, direct, and ordinary. And when we feel sim when we feel separate, we continually reject it in favor of what we think we're looking for, which is kind of the model. It's the same, you know, that you you and your life. It's it's a model of you and your life. You have a model actually of you and and reality and the world. And that's what energetically you're, you're feeding all the time. So I have a question regarding that uh, model that I'm trying to perceive. Um, with that, I would be calling my soul. It's the, 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 I'm interested to know uh, about the concept of the soul in, this, uh, in the non-duality. So you just said it there, the concept of the soul. Uh, yeah. Ding. <laughs> I'm gonna give away the microphone yeah, yeah. now. <laughs> Anybody? You're any takers? <laughs> yeah. You start answering your own questions in this. Uh, <laughs> no, but it is. It is just a concept. <laughs> I got it. Someone, please take this microphone. We have. We have someone I, gonna speak. I can't help myself. Second, I anyway. have it in my hand. And I want to talk. No, but it's so gorgeous. Honestly, it really does not matter if someone wants to ask a question. You cannot go wrong. Asking the question is it. Yeah. Not asking the question is it, it does nothing expected of anyone. It's so okay. gorgeous. There's no silly question. So, so oh, oh. basically, to answer your question, is that in the in the in the the so-called reality of you being an individual, there can be all sorts of stories. One of the stories is you have a soul. So you you have a life, and you having a life, there's an aspect of that that you have this separate thing that's separate to your 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 bones and your uh, connective tissues and your muscles and your major organs. And it's, it's kind of floating around there. Sometimes it's in your big toe. It sleeps in your big toe and then it comes oh, around. Let's call it in. extra adipose tissue. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and it's a nice little idea, the soul, and it's just gonna just float off up when you die, you know. And if you believe that and someone believes that, then it's, you know, it's clearly an idea. This is so. It's just a, so that if you go, if what's been heard is been is, is uh, what's been said is heard is there's no you. So all all of those other things they collapse really because they're all if really if you think about them they're all dependent really on a separate you, a you that has a soul, a you that has, has the, a, uh, like a health problem whatever. Yeah. Yeah, it's yeah. fall in the same category, obviously. Oh, yeah, like a health problem appear to happen. See, so if there's no sense of self, or there's no longer a sense of self, there's an in loveness with what appears to happen, you could say. Now, that's still a bit like of a story, too, but it's, I, I would say it. It's for nobody. There's a sense, it's indescribable. I can't, nobody can describe it, but there's no longer a sense of me and the world and me being alive. So there's simply what's appearing to happen. And in what's appearing to happen could be absolutely, completely painful. It could be utterly painful. It could be emotional pain, physical pain, anything, but it's no longer my pain. And it's just what's appearing to happen. So therefore it's total freedom. It's, un it's incredible, it's indescribable, but to the end, it could be a health problem and that's what's appearing to happen. But if I feel like an individual, it's totally different then because it's my health problem it's an issue it needs to be resolved uh, along with these other big stack of issues that need to be resolved and then i'll be there you know when it's not this when it's not that then i'll be there and that's the, the that's the individual is kind of in that sense of pulling in pleasure and comfort and pushing away discomfort and has this narrative of this problem that problem and it's all going around this loop of me they're all my problems so all the injustice and things which are going bad are yeah. the same category. Oh yeah, it's all a story. Uh -huh. Yeah, uh -huh. yeah, yeah. Because in, in duality, there's a real strong sense of good and bad. 
and right and wrong, special, not special, inner, outer, all of these. It's pure dualism. And in it's a it's when you feel like an individual, it's absolutely real that one thing is bad and another thing is good. And I can understand what people mean when they say that. And it's Crimes, obviously in the story, I can see that yeah. this thing is bad, like the, the wars whatever, aren't good. Yeah. They're not good, are they, Kenneth? Do you know, I said, yeah. I, I'm not disagreeing with you. <laughs> I If I had my little magic wand, I'd make them all right. But I don't have a magic wand and they're just actually energy. So the, the, the good and bad comes from the sense of being separate, actually. Nothing is actually good or bad. Everything just is as it is. But that's impossible for the individual because the individual operates in that separate. duality of good and bad. And yeah. And, and the other thing about this, people sometimes think that the, what they do is because you're in a, a play of opposites, they kind of feel that what you're so what you're saying, Kenneth, is that the war in the Ukraine, that's good then. Is that what you're saying? Or, or you know, no, but it's quite common. But, and I understand that, though, because what's happening is there, there's a play of opposites. So if you're saying that it's not bad, it just is what it is, immediately the mind would go, so you're saying it's good then, are you? Mm -hmm. And this is what we see in the world, is this complete polarization and dichotomous thinking, where you have apparently two opposing fractions, and it's more everyone's getting more and more polarized, and then the conversation becomes harder because anything anyone says, that this is what they get back then. Oh, so you're one of those then. Or if anyone says it, oh, you're one of those. Are you anti this? Are you, you know, and everyone is, is so sick of it like too because it's so, yeah, whatever it is. Yeah, you're anti-vax or you're anti-establishment or you're whatever. And it's just because someone maybe ha expressed an idea or whatever. And this is what we see is this huge polarization in that way. And it's very black and white thinking. So when it comes to making decisions on... Uh, uh, on my life as it is happening. Yeah. If I don't make a decision, often I'm just sort of letting things happen. And uh, if I just let things happen, generally, well, not generally, I don't know what, anything could happen. I'm allowing my, I'm putting my, I'm opening myself to yeah. just letting things be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, for example, Getting up in the morning. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I just get up. Yes, I do get up. But if I decide that I'm not getting up. Yeah, yeah. So that's all in a story. <laughs> uh, the that's decision, all in... making decisions. Oh, yeah, that's is a story. Well, what you said there is all a story. Uh -huh. Because the story, in that story, then yeah. there's a sense that you sometimes let things happen. How nice of you. That's really gracious of you. <laughs> no problem. Anytime. Today, you know what? Today, I'm not going to grab today by the reins. I'm not going to control what happens. I'm just going to sit back and I'm going to let things happen. How nice of the individual to do that. That's really lovely. <laughs> so the suggestion is that there is nobody. Okay. So there's no. So there's you that nobody to equally... make money. There's nobody to make a living. And there's nobody who's trying to make things happen. And there's nobody who's just letting things happen. There's already nobody all the time. So when you sense that you're making a living and doing your job, yeah. what, what's being shared is that's actually just an addition. It's an energetic addition of me to a role. And there's a sense then of getting up in the morning, getting dressed, brushing your teeth, having your breakfast, getting in the car or getting public transport and arriving in work. And that whole narrative about work and about your identity and how it, you know, whether it feeds that identity or doesn't, and then the paycheck that pays the bills and everything. Incredibly, there is no you in any part of that. From the getting up out of bed. To I could say teeth. thank you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> thank you. Yeah, there's no, it's incredible. But their lived sense of being a me is it feels very real so it would feel if i feel separate it would really feel that i got myself out of bed and i got the tr the, the 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 trainer into work and i'm working and blah 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 and it's unimaginable it's absolutely unimaginable that there isn't a me it cannot be imagined actually because you can't imagine your own absence and to most people it would be it's totally and utterly 
bonkers. It's bonkers to suggest there's no money because how would the job get done? How would the bills yeah. get paid? Yeah. How would they pay the rent? Uh, yeah, exactly. And and the re the arrogance of the individual is it feels that nothing would happen without the individual. Nothing. And incredibly, there is no individual ever. There's never been an individual. So so really, there's nothing to do. No, there's nothing even happening. Did I not say that already? <laughs> <laughs> So I don't bother this going to work. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad you're getting it. Yeah. Speak, speak to the hand. I'm not coming to work. Yeah. That's going to, I'd like to, can, can you record that conversation with your boss on Monday, tomorrow? Actually, I'd I am like my own boss. <laughs> I am my own boss. Oh, then it's even yeah. easier. <laughs> you so can just have the chat with yourself. Oh God. And just yeah. explain that you want the you want the check to come in at the end of the month, though. That's the important part. But you, see, but you don't want to do the work. Like, <laughs> where does where does it come from? Or like, do I need? I don't even need to know, actually. <laughs> <laughs> You get me. You get me. Yeah, yeah. You don't need to know. It's it's a kind of a it's a thing that moves through a Swiss bank account, and it's a, it's called a it's called a non-dual bank account. Because yeah, and then away, there's, there's, just listen to all the manifestation stuff, money, stuff you rubbish know. that you can get a hold of. Yeah. yeah. So this is a very interesting uh, uh, how to deal with that. Uh, uh, not, I mean, there's nothing to deal with. I get that. There's nothing to deal with, it. but things just happen. <laughs> things just happen. Things appear to happen, yeah. So why do I worry then? You don't. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> we're all laughing together here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. It's like, you know, and honestly, that. there yeah. actually is the one meeting where there yeah. really is definitely nobody being yes. laughed at because no, there's nobody. Uh, absolutely, uh, I get yeah, this. Yeah, yeah. It's, I mean it's, that sincerely, uh, yeah. um, Okay. Yeah, totally. It's it's and it is. It can be very funny what's been illuminated because it's ridiculous. <laughs> it's illuminating the ridiculousness of feeling like an individual who has a life, because it is actually ridiculous and it doesn't. So it, there's no practicality. Well, there's, there's just, no logic. There's just what appears to happen. What happens? Well, I can so there's happen just a, a lot of no, things. Well, the <laughs> thing is, there's just what appears to happen, and it's just a play of lighter energy. So appearing to work and appearing to pay the bills will appear to happen but there's no you in there that appears to do that does that at all and there never has been so work appears to happen but then i add myself to it okay yeah so i should just send my car body to work and stay home <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> send my energetic self to work to do yeah, the yeah. work and not do it not that doing anything really <laughs> <laughs> But uh, this is interesting. I have a question about uh, this. Uh, something which just happens naturally yeah. is uh, um, is more in line with, uh, um, not that I need a definition for it because I don't, mm -hmm. uh, but it's more in line with uh, this um, non-duality of... No, there's little, nothing no. more in line with anything. There's nothing. Yes. And there's nothing that happens unnaturally and that happens naturally. Because what, what's been said is there's nothing happening, actually. There's, this is nothing appearing to happen. That's so nothing. everything is just a play of light. Or a story, you could say it that way. It's mm. the same thing. But you don't feel like a story. I mean, you as in the individual doesn't feel like a story. The, feel, the individual feels real. I really have a life. And lives in causality because it lives mm. in time and space. So the causality and time and space are all the same, really just looked at from different angles you could say it's very simplistic but there's a real sense then of oh well i got up out of bed i went i did the work i got the pay and it's a logical linear reality that feels absolutely real it do it completely feels real it totally does and this is just a, a sharing a suggestion that actually it's simply an appearance that nothing is happening as we think it's happening in time and space it's just an appearance and I, you, the individual can't see the difference. It's impossible because they can only imagine the difference. But when you no longer feel like an individual, it's just very ordinary. There's just sitting, 
sounds. And there's no longer a sense of me who's sitting, me who hears sounds, me who speaks, me who does. And then it's just a play of light then. And anything, actually, funny enough, anything could happen then because it's free fall then. But the individual, that that felt separate, is terrified of that mm. because the individual is living in a closed mm. loop of its own knowing in which it controls what's appearing to happen to keep itself safe from a world that's outside it. So it yearns for the full-on aliveness and it's fucking terrified of the full-on <laughs> aliveness. It's terrified of it because it's terrified of its own absence and it simultaneously yearns for its own absence. It's, it's complete paradox, which the mind cannot... Paradoxes to the mind are not good because a paradox, if you think of a paradox, it's, it is and it isn't. Do you know what I mean? Whereas the mind is, it, it either is or it isn't. So this is the dualism that the person appears to move in. It's tempting me to say, yeah, what makes breakfast for the hungry body? Yeah? Um, Olivier. <laughs> <laughs> um, today we had two eggs, runny eggs, and the most beautiful bread, sourdough bread. So <laughs> Olivier yeah. makes breakfast. That's the answer. So no, nobody, nobody is holding that microphone there. That it's, means it's I can a, say it's anything. A, it's, a, it's a very simple. No, it's so simple though. That's the. That's it's too simple. That's mm -hmm. there's nobody sitting in that chair, that, holding the microphone and speaking. It's incredible, and there never was anyone there. There's just what's appearing to happen. So there's just holding the microphone. There's just body. There's just sitting in the chair. There's just sounds, and it's the same with everyone here. There's no everyone here in the room, really, because there aren't individuals in the room, actually. But if, if you feel like an individual, it will appear that there are individuals. I, it will only feel that way if you feel like an individual, that you're sitting in a room. Then you will then see what look like other individuals. They have a life and I have a life. And then you're in this dualistic reality then. And this is a very simple, direct illumination that there's nobody there's no you and when there's no you when it's there's felt, nobody to there's feed nobody else yeah but and there's nobody else yeah <laughs> there's no natural well th this is um this is um the this is the fight in my mind about who is going to um not feed me or make food for me or make me walk or because i'm not making myself walk yeah, yeah. The, the, well, the individual is constant feeding. Like, oh. really, the, what happens, appears to happen in these meetings is the individual actually comes to be fed because the individual is constantly being fed. A good, a good example would be through social media. You are literally being fed the information that confirms your reality through an algorithm in which the stuff you're interested in is is evaluated and then you're fed more stuff that you're interested in so you end up going down this cul-de-sac in which your reality is just continually fed and then someone else's reality who appear to be on the other side would be feeding on their reality and that's just it's all a play of light it's just what appears to but that's the same in you know so-called real world as opposed to virtual world. there's no it's just all energy anyway in that when you walk down the street and you appear to meet someone or not meet so every single thing you do as an individual is just confirming your reality and feeding your sense of self through your concepts your beliefs your paradigm of how the world is everything and in, incredibly these communications when it's shared like this in this manner in a in a uncompromising way that energy comes and of course wants to be fed wants an answer to the question and then bang it can just be energetically it's almost explosive actually and for some they can sense it very quickly that this is completely boundless because those questions meet nothing and there's nowhere that that feeding just can't it can't go anywhere you're not being fed because you're being seen not as an individual but as unconditional love there's no individual there is i can't see it there's nobody in this room there's just aliveness and that's what I meant when I said at the start that the part we didn't record that was so beautifully put. <laughs> <laughs> that that it's it's all a resonance. This is all about a resonance. If you want to stay with concept and knowing, 
that's completely fine, there's no problem, and you will then think that this is the biggest load of bullshit ever, or you would think it's amazing. It doesn't actually matter. It doesn't matter at all. You could think it's great, it's wonderful, and I, I agree there's no individual, or you think this is absolute horseshit. Same thing to me, it's the same thing, because what's happening, it, you're just with concept, that's all. It doesn't matter. But this is not about concept, because what's yearned for, this is actually completely unknowable. It's, everything is totally unknowable. It only feels knowable when you feel certain. Um, the unknowable uh, is, uh, is definitely um, a resonation of, um, I can't describe it. Because yeah, no, I can't either. This, so there's no message, but yeah. uh, it's everything. Yeah, this is, this is not a room in Brussels, and you sitting in a room in Brussels. Mm. This is actually everything appearing as a room in Brussels. Like we wonder about, about, about everything, eternity, infinity. This is eternity and infinity because that's all there is. This is wholeness. We, we, we abstract a concept about oneness, wholeness, and then we work towards it. And then we hear from loads of teachers. There's no, there are no teachers. It's bullshit. There's no such thing as a teacher or a guru or Thank any of that. You. There's no authority whatsoever because it's just, there's just simply this. And most of them, what they do is it's not about right. They're not right or wrong. It's just what appears to happen. But they will speak to you about a thing called oneness and they will tell you how to find it and how to get there. Total and utter nonsense. From their individual. Yeah, yeah, because they feel they're spe seeing somebody and they have this concept of oneness, which most, a lot of them have tasted because what's happened is that maybe there's been an awakening, but then they've appeared to come back then and they're going to then tell you how to get there. So a lot of them are quite sincere, but it's absolute nonsense because once you're being told how, how to do something to get somewhere, it's a confirmation that you're not there. So you're not unconditional love, actually. You're not wholeness. You are an individual. And there is somewhere to get to. Total and utter dualism. So what falls under non-duality is complete dualism. It's total bullshit. Like 99% of it, the vast, vast, vast majority of it, there's very, 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 very few that communicate like this. Very few. And there's some who sound like they communicate like this, but they don't, it's just something happening. And it's not right or wrong. It doesn't actually matter. But it's just Because there's space for everything there. Well, it's not that there's space for everything. Everything is just energy appearing as that it's it doesn't ha it's not right and wrong and good and bad and correct and true and not true are all in the story anyway you know contained in, in the, the story. story well it's yeah. all in the story it's all dualism yeah please can someone take the microphone <laughs> from, from well we have a question online Nilsu. we have Nilsu yeah. online hi can you hear me uh, yeah, probably. Is it a bit loud? Will I turn it down a bit? Oh, it's okay. Hi. <laughs> Hi, yeah. Um, so my question is, like, in the in this apparent spiritual community, like, there's a sense of, like, having a goal um, to get to a okay. apparent f frequency or having an apparent vibration that then later like attracts an apparent reality that you live in like there's this um law of attraction or like just um that your body gets to a vibration that pulls in another vibration like or like attracts in certain life events or like apparent um happenings in your life when you, um, like, not, not the you, but when the energy just moves into a higher frequency. Yeah. <laughs> I, I kind of passed out there for a minute and came back. <laughs> <laughs> I fell asleep and then I woke up again. <laughs> And I, I'm not teasing you, I'm just having fun, because it, all of what you just said there is just, to me, is absolute spiritual mumbo jumbo, which can sound, it can sound so attractive, absolutely, yeah. it can sound so, it, and it, to the individual, it's lovely, it's a, there's different frequencies, and I met this guy, 
and he's in a state of oneness and he's in a non-dual state and the free the energy oh jesus christ the energy <laughs> and i was basking in that energy and i shared in the, and it's all total and utter bullshit it's total nonsense and that's what's been illuminated this morning that that actually what's yearned for is ridiculously simple and ordinary and that what i just said before at the end of the last uh, before you asked your question is 99% 99.9% of all the communications are simply speaking to an individual about how that there's a thing called wholeness and there's a way to get to wholeness so they they're completely dualistic uh, but they appeal to the individual and uh, and they they're very attractive to the individual because they're complex and they feed the sense that I have a life and I can do something to get somewhere. So all, all of that, that's just uh, a really good example of dualistic teachings. Again, they're not right, they're not wrong. And if they appeal to some, they'll appeal to one person and they won't appeal to another person. And the person they appeal to in their reality, they will actually feel like maybe they will feel like they're working for a while. Frequencies, energy, my energy, uh, Blah, 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 blah. So um, I was th thinking of it like um, that they're just uh, trying to explain the energy with yeah. like the law of attraction, for example, that the reality is shaped because of certain energies going yeah, on. It's a story. It's just a story. Yeah. It's absolutely and meaningful story it doesn't it's completely empty meaningless story and if it's if for you to the apparent individual if the law of attraction appears to be true then in their reality the law of attraction is a real thing that really uh, uh, I resonate and that really I can see it they can see it everywhere then I can see the law of attraction everywhere then and it's true to me the individual then or or there's this um, sense of saying that whatever is going on inside is being reflected on the outside. Well, there's no, like, there, yeah. There, well, you're only meeting yourself, really. Yeah. So that's what yeah. I would say you're only meeting yourself. So what you feel are other people. You're just seeing your, your, you, you think it's that, that this person's a nasty person or a good person or you're, it, it's reflective of aspects of the way you feel about yourself. Yeah. But that's, yeah doesn't really matter anyway <laughs> okay <laughs> and then um there was like, like um, the, the suggestion is you're actually never meeting anyone separate because there is no separate individual it's just aliveness as a per uh, and then what can what appears to happen then is that sense of there being an other that you are then relating to can just collapse and there's no it's seen there's no relating it's only separate things that relate to each other. And then all mm. of that neurosis can just collapse. Well, most of it. And um, then there's like a few apparent people that um, channel someone or something, or I don't know, maybe you heard of Bashar, for example, like he's talking to an audience through a human being that channels him or, and then he answers questions and explains how to create or like he explains that everything is not real and that he is also not here but then he uses the the, the laws and it's, explains it with the laws because because it, uh, the laws are the language that the human could understand oh that's like, so the, gracious the... of him isn't it <laughs> that's so gracious of him to kind of put it in words we can all understand it's so nice of him like what, what is this what is this channeling then like it's total the... bullshit that's what it is <laughs> <laughs> just to just to be clear about it and not kind of maybe i'm not being direct enough it's just nonsense like it, it, there's all this story after story after story after story of people who are 
who are gurus and our teachers and are special and that appeals to us when we feel separate because we are living in this dualistic reality where we, we actually feel that some people are special and that if I have contact with this person or I'm around this person, that specialness, I can, and experientially, we, we almost ex experience this. So we feel it's true then. And it's just a story, it's just a story, it's just a complete story, just what appears. Like what I'm, what's being said here this morning is not about an experience or a, or a, or a state or anything. They're, they're things the individual has. There is no authority, there is no special, there is no guru, there is no teacher. There's simply directly whatever is appearing to happen, which is unconditional love already. It's unknowable and ungraspable. And if you feel you have to do something to get it or know it, that's simply within the story of there being a separate you. And that's where it will go around, appear to go around and around and around and around and be fed by all of these guys who channel and do God knows what. I don't know. It gets very ridiculous, really. Okay, and then um, I have another question. Uh, have you ever heard of Dolores Cannon? No, I, I don't really have any interest in these. Is she a singer? or a pop, is she, <laughs> No. Is she a pop singer? We had a pop no. singer here so, yesterday, and we didn't hear her sing either, but we will. So, um, what she has apparently done is, um, like, in her books or whatever, she uh, went into, uh, with thousands of people into, like, um, some kind of hypnotic session where they talk about past life pa past lives past incarnations or near-death experiences and then there's this um, so-called soul with the contracts when you come here to earth like when your body incarnates here on earth and there's um, certain like things going on that, that people talk about like with the past lives for example or like having an awakening and then remembering all of your past lives or all of the stories you had like what is going on with this it's just a story <laughs> it's just a story yeah it's just a story it's just another story stories upon stories yeah. upon stories like people don't there's no you don't have a all there is is energy an energy appears as someone who talks about having a past life. There's no past, there's no future, there's just energy, there's just what's appearing to happen, and it's completely, totally unknowable. Mm. So okay. anything can appear to happen in it then. You know, yeah. energetically, someone can feel that they have, and they could appear to have, there could appear to be memories of something that appeared to be hundreds of years ago or whatever, and that's just energy appearing to do that. There's no individual who has anything, past or present or future. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like I want to now then uh, like ask about the people that can read auras, for example, or see colors and people. Nobody but then it's also auras. just a story. Yeah. Well, nobody can read auras, but there appears to be reading of auras appears to happen. It doesn't require yeah. anybody. It doesn't require an individual because everything is just energy. Energy can be this way and that way and every kind of way. And then it appears that there's aura, that there, there's bodies and people can see colors. But what I'm what's been said here is that there's nobody doing that. It's just appear it's what appears to happen. like it, and, and another way to put it is like when you feel separate do you feel that you're living in knowing and you feel that things have meaning and uh, things are knowable and they have meaning so therefore you assign that there's people who have this that, and it feels like there actually is individuals so there are these people and they can do this thing and that that means something or is significant of something and there, there is nobody there's just there's no individual, there's just bodies, aliveness, 
and all of these things that you mentioned can appear to happen. They don't need any meaning or anything. What's funny is that the first time I heard um, or like watched non-duality video, video I, I had this um, feeling of like, I can't feel the love. Like it's it sounds so unsatisfying and so like dry. This yeah, just... that's what's happening then. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, but, that, but that's then, like, like, yeah, go on. Sorry, I interrupted. 